Let's see if we can talk to a few people. Let's see. Hi, hello. What does all this symbolize to you? I don't know. Anything at all? Yeah, I think it's nice. <laughs> it's nice? Yeah. Why, why is it nice? I don't know, because they can express what they think. People can express it. Are you expressing what you think? No. <laughs> but you will. I'm going to have to talk really loud now. What? Why are you at the Lovin'? What did you, what did you say? Why, why are you at the Lovin'? Because I think it's fun and I get a good sense of community spirit I don't anywhere else. What? Do you think there's a love revolution going on? I hope so. Why do you hope so? Well, because, I mean, we're, we're just too... I mean, up to date, the world has been in such bad condition that love is a very good start to get it cleaned up, I think. And you think it'll work? It's worth a try, I think. Why are you here? Because I like loving. <laughs> are you a part of the love generation? Yes. What's different about the love generation? Oh, I don't know. The whole world just seems to be happy. I mean, every, when everybody's in love. Just everybody seems to be so happy here. Do you love me? Yes, I love everybody. Is it possible to love everybody? Yes. How come? How come people haven't loved everybody for 2,000 years? Because they've been mixed up. Do you think this is the answer? Yes. How could this, how do you see this affecting society? It will, sooner or later. Really, you think so? It will. If it goes on, it keeps going on, it's got to, it has to. Do you take drugs? Huh? Do you take drugs? No. Would you ever take drugs? Yes. You would? Yes. Why? I'm, I'm experimental. I'm experimental. Oh. Besides being happy, what does it mean? Let me put it this way to you. Do you think this country, at this time, needs something that it hasn't got? Yes. What does it need? Love. The whole people have to know each other, you know? What about people older than, say, 30? Older people, do you think they can indulge in this too? Yes, they should. Do they? I don't know if they do, but they should. What do you think older people think of all this? Most of them think it's ridiculous. Why do you think they think it's ridiculous? Because I don't think it can be done. You know, they don't think people can do it. Do you think you can manage to do this without the help of, say, grass or LSD? No. Do you think you need it? Yes. Do you take it? Yes. What does it do for you? I know myself better, and I, other people I know better. You're not just taking it for kicks? Do you think it expands your consciousness so you can love everybody? Not everybody. Who are those you don't love? Um, Narrow-minded people. Big full moon shining up above. I cut love a honey, come on, I'll be my love. what the world needs more than any other thing. Do you think it's going to solve any real problems? I think it's the beginning, and from love can emanate many solutions to the world's problems. It's a start. We can change from hate and the love of power and manipulation to love and caring. I think we can get something. A lot of these people admit that they use certain drugs like marijuana and LSD. Do you agree with that? When I hear this music, I know that you don't need anything else to turn you on. <laughs> what, do you, what do you do? What, what do you do for a living, sir? For a living? Yeah. Well, I sell life insurance, I'm in law school, and I'm opening up a coffee house. Really? Really? Do you think you can combine this commer these commercial interests with love? With law? love? Love. With love? Well, I think love is part of life, and everything else should be combined with love, rather than love being combined with your occupation. What do you think of the love revolution as it, as it is at the moment? Do you think anything about it? Well, I can't quote exactly, but one of the Supreme Court justices once said that from a multitude of tongues come the truth. And when you're not willing to listen to what everyone has to say, you are denying yourself the ultimate truth. Now, these people have something to say. They have a way of life that they believe in. They're coming over here, and they're just trying to show that no harm can come, that people can get along together. Now, 
tie all this in, maybe with world affairs, maybe with affairs here in Boston or Roxbury, no matter where. Love is love. Everything should be so coincide with that. Yeah, come on. I'll see you. Well, it's not much to do. You know, we don't give much to offer for the young kids today. Think they need love. Because this is what they say they need. Well, they need more than love. You know, understanding from the grown-ups. Do you think that a lot of these people here really do believe that, that something big is growing? That the love revolution really is a revolution. Do you think so? I am. I'm beginning young. I feel young. I'm dressing young. Uh, how old are you, sir? Do you mind me asking? A little over 30. Well, that's young. That's young, sure. <laughs> it's young enough. Set my way. But you're prepared to come out of them. You certainly don't look set in your ways, you know. I come out. Fortunately, I'm with a date. I would have been more far out. But I'm more conservative today. Good. Well, it's fine. Are you enjoying yourself? Definitely. Do you think there's too much hate in our society? Yes. Where do you think it's manifest? It's uh, probably from the public apathy that's created in government control. What are you going through at the moment? Do you think we need an interpreter? Oh, you don't look too happy. Could you come round and smile into our camera? It's beautiful, isn't it? This is a young man. Could you possibly tell me your name? No, you can't tell me his name, but these two fellas, they're having a great time. They're at the love in here, and he's very hot, but he likes being hot. And behind those goggles, they're works a sensitive creature, I'm sure. Would you agree with me on that? Do you think behind those teeth, the looks? I'm from the World Organization of Lysanthropic Fallacious Wolf. I believe in who? I'm delighted to meet you. I'm David Silver. I'm, um, wow. That's, that's nice. Um, you really don't like all this, then? You're not too keen on it, eh? You're very yeah. good looking. Oh, no? All right. You're not happy about this. These two fellows are not too happy about the love movement. You're not I too happy about the love movement? You don't like it? I love it. You love it? Because there's so much hate opportunity. There's so much hate opportunity. I see. Yeah. So much hate. Yeah, yeah. This is great. Um, I think, I think we'll um, go back to the mobile unit. <laughs> 